Hello, dear friends. We have a piece of paper, so we plan to do some uh, doodling. So maybe first you get a piece of paper just to practice some idea. And there are many ways you can get start. So we will start this way. So usually when when <coughs> I do this in class and uh, often time I get students I say you can draw anything you like then the result is that uh, they don't know what to draw and I was thinking, you always want to want to draw free draw. What do you mean you do not know what to draw? So actually, when I try myself to draw, then I find that uh, doing a piece of uh, free draw. It can be quite intimidating if you are in the class, if you are drawing something according to the teacher's instruction or drawing something for the class. It can be quite intimidating. So let's do it just this way. We do it kind of a guided drawing. So, at the very beginning, you get a piece of paper. A plain piece of paper is not easy. The best thing is you get a smaller piece of paper. So here I have a relatively smaller piece of paper. Starting with some line, it is okay. You do not have any idea of what these lines will be into. And uh, also look at the things surround you. So for example, now I have an idea, relatively have an idea. So I will go with my idea. But if you do not have an idea, then look around things to get inspiration. I do not have idea in this particular one. So what do I do? I raise my head and I saw the window. How about I make into a window? Dark. You can do random or planned, your choice. So, some with block scene, some do not, and this one I will do. Everything can turn out to be something, so do not worry if it is not what you want, because you do not know what you want, actually. And uh, just let it go. Let go yourself. And uh, there's really no um, 
particular way of of doing it. And if someone tell you what to do and give you a demo of so you start to do a circle because they are not doing something new, they are in their already, already known land. So teachers or some internet uh, demonstrators, they already have an idea, they have done it so many times in their studio or in other place. They are not doing something new. When you do something new, you are always uh, intimidated and you are always uh, searching for something new. You are in a new land or unknown land. So the challenge is not only for you, it is for everybody. So one day in the class, we do this Zen Tango, just um, do some free doodling and uh, let the students come down. And uh, my class, the kids was was uh, very, uh, at the beginning, was not quiet because don't know what to do. So I say, okay, class, listen to me. And uh, you just do your drawing and uh, I will tell you the story. You listen to the story from the teacher, how about that? I do not know why, but the uh, story is always so effective. And uh, we had uh, a teacher training one day, and one of the trainer, the trainer told us, anything, as long as you can put into the story format or tell the story, students, that's a story, it always works. You can get your message across by story so much more effective and so much more well received than any other thing, than anything else. And uh, I tried this in class and it was a sure, very sure uh, uh, success or gagnant, comment disant. Uh, in English, it's a sure winner, yes. And um, so the word story is just a, a, a magic word, one of the most magic words. And uh, whenever I say story, they were so happy. So. <clears throat> How about you? Are you ready for a story? So, <clears throat> one time, there were uh, there was one little boy. He likes to paint. His name is Johnny. Let's call him Johnny. Little Johnny likes to paint very, very, very much, but. He was not starting so easily. And uh, his mother always encouraged him to paint, to draw, to do anything he likes. So when little Johnny started to paint him the very first time, he asked his mommy, Mom, I, didn't, I do not know what to paint. I do not know what to draw. Mom said, it's okay, take a piece of paper, white paper, and take a brush or take a pen out. So little Johnny took out a piece of paper and a pen and uh, he waited for his mother's instruction. Mom said, okay, 
let's do uh, <laughs> one stroke a long 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 line from beginning to from the top to the bottom of your paper so little Johnny did one line and mom said do another line just cross it little Johnny did another line cross it mom said another line cross these two lines then another line across these three lines. So little Johnny did exactly as mom said. So he made this shape. And mom said, how about a circle? So little Johnny did a circle. How about uh, two circles? So little Johnny did two circles. And mom said, do a dot. So little Johnny did a dot. And mom said, do some little lines, little T's, 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 T's. And then little Johnny did T's, 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 T's. And then mom said, did you do triangle? So little Johnny did triangle. Mom said, did you do circle? Little Johnny did circle. Did you do googly eyes? Little Johnny did googly eyes. Did you do jilgulagza shape, strange shape? Little Johnny did jilgulagza, strange shape. And uh, little Johnny did exactly as mom said. And this time was not little Johnny having trouble, is mommy who runs out of idea. So little Johnny asked, Mom, I have done everything you asked me. So Mom said, OK, how many circles did you do? Little Johnny said, I did three circles. And Mom said, OK, let's do 20 circles, 30 T's, 40 uh, triangles. 50 jiriguruza shape. So little Johnny did all as mother's instruction, all according to his mother's instruction. So mom did not even see what was happening, but uh, because of the number so many number of doing things and it took little Johnny such a long time to accomplish all this and at the end just by this very simple shape but repetitively it forms it builds up a certain pattern, a certain uh, beauty of rhythm, and it turned out to be such a beautiful drawing. So all this, what I'm trying to say is, do not worry if you are not doing, if you feel lost in your own drawing. Just keep doing something very simple. And uh, those repetitive shape can turn out to be quite interesting. Don't you agree? Do not worry, it does not help to worry. So just do these little shapes and uh, things 
like that. Sorry, I'm tired now. So these repetitive things, it can be quite uh, meditative. So I, I, this is exactly the story I told my students in class. And uh, this is uh, which grade? A second grade class, I remember. Yeah, I think it's a, it was second grade, six years old, or maybe first grade. I, let me rethink again. But anyway, the end result is that students did put, they were mesmerized by this story. Mesmerized, mesmerized, I'm sorry, I do not know. But they just, uh, they were enchanted, what is the word? It was just, uh, um, it's, it is very effective anyway. They do the circles, the triangles, they spend a lot of time doing these details, and uh, it turns out very, very beautiful works. So creativity comes from, so often time, comes from this repetitive work. Do not think it's something that um, that is so scary. It does not have to be scary. It may be just very ordinary work, repetitive work, uh, hard-working work. Never give up. You will make it right. So do not worry, keep working, you will do it right. Let me do it this way. I think it's better to do it this way. Let me do it this way. Dun, dun. Just keep doing, do not be scared off by the word creativity. Creativity is hard work, repetitive works. Very often time this is hmm. 
Oh oh. I hope this one can help you. Anyway, so this is what can I do here? I can make it sink. Sink. How about? Looks a little bit strange. Looks strange, but let it be strange. So this one we will do one leaf. Call it natural form. 